Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? Thank you very much for your generosity. I need to start by saying that um, for uh, the wonderful comments um, and, uh, and other things like donations. Really, really um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I wanted to jump on. You would have heard the news now that uh, Joe Biden has chosen Senator Kamala Harris for his vice president. If you recall my vice president readings, she never left the equation. She was always there. She was my front runner early on and things didn't really change. I do feel that, uh, you know, he he and his team vetting team uh, always came back to Kamala Harris because that's what my readings were showing. Um, so is it the right choice is the question today. Well, no, that's not the question. The question is, is this a good partnership? Is this a winning partnership? Will this partnership defeat a Trump-Pence um, ticket? Now, uh, I've looked at her just to start with some very brief uh, astrology. Um, I've posted on my Facebook page her natal chart and I've also had a discussion with one of my um, colleagues as well. Uh, this is where we sort of came out. Well, this is where I came out, but picking up some of my colleagues' points as well. Um, I always felt that the person that Biden chose as his vice president would have some uh, fairly significant fire energy. So I was continually looking for an Aries, a Sagittarian um, uh, uh, or a Leo um, because I felt that there needed to be this fire. I just intuitively felt this fire energy was needed. Now, in Kamala Harris, Senator, Senator Harris's um, chart, her moon is in Aries in the 11th house. Now, this tells me that, that she will focus on justice, that this will be, this is part of her purpose um, and bringing and restoring justice back to the US. Now, uh, there is an opposition with her moon to her son, but that will just uh, really solidify this this strength this strong focus on justice I feel it's like that polarity will will it make her focus on this even if she uh, if she wants to stray from that path she'll always be brought back to that justice now she's a Libra her sun sign is Libra so she's going to always come back to that now Biden has his moon in Taurus. Now you know that Taurus is very, very determined, very, very determined. So those two moon placements um, are going to work harmoniously together. Biden's son in Scorpio. I didn't. I mean, I've seen Biden's chart before, but today when I looked at it, I was struck by the strength of those planets in the twelfth house. His son is in Scorpio. Um, and that is also, as you know, the 12th house is about the collective uh, unconscious. So there's a transformation going on here and also a transformation that will feed into this partnership. Together, I, I see there's determination to restore elements of justice that have been eroded uh, under, under, under Trump, the sideshow Don. Um, and to do the shadow work, which uh, is what the moon encourages um, us to do, to look at where we need to learn, where we need to strengthen. So I'm feeling pretty positive here. Um, the moon in uh, Senator Harris's chart is also in a positive placement to her Saturn in Aquarius. Now, remember, we have a whole bunch of big planets moving out of Capricorn, that material uh energy the the focus on um the focus on business the focus on wealth moving into aquarius which of course is high ideals humanitarianism um now uh i feel also with that satin in aquarius placement even if she wants to stray uh she really will be brought back because satin is that taskmaster she will be brought back to focusing on justice humanitarian uh ism and, and values so i feel for her this is the purpose that she must rise to i do want to go back to joe biden's chart a lot has been made of 
you know, Biden being a bit iffy, Biden, you know, is he strong enough? Um, I go back to those three planets in his 12th house, all in Scorpio, all big conjunctions so his mercury is conjunct with his sun is conjunct with his venus all in scorpio in the 12th house of the collective uh, unconscious this can also be sacri sacrifices as well so um he's going you know he's got the ability to uh get uh to win this election to bring people with him and once they are uh in power i feel that Together, they're going to be doing a lot of that hard work, um, a lot of the restoration work that needs to be done post Trump and Pence. No wonder Trump was tweeting about her today, and he lost, of course, a lot of the women votes in calling name calling as he as he would as he does with women. Um, he, I feel that he's scared. He's scared. This was the choice he did not want. If you look back at Senator Harris, um, ta you know, really tangoing with Bill Barr in his confirmation hearing, you will see that she's one of the very few people that actually got him on his back foot. They should be worried. They should be worried because her focus will be on justice. Now let's um, go back to the tarot now um, and have a look at uh, a couple of, very uh, simple questions is this a good and winning partnership will they defense de will they defeat uh, trump and pence she is more than a match for uh, mike pence um and how she will how will she contribute to the work of a new administration if we get time i'll do a chakra reading on her or maybe i'll do that um i'll do that in a separate reading now first of all i want to draw from well first of all i'm going to have a sip i've been making um Fresh thyme, we've got a lovely herb garden and I've been picking fresh thyme, sticking some honey and brewing some tea uh, and it's very, uh, it's very refreshing. So uh, I'm going to start with the salt water reading cards. Because of the, um, I guess, just this pull that I'm getting to emotions, I'm feeling um, the emotions when I opened up for this reading uh, this inspiration, emotions fuel inspiration, inspiration fuels action. And, of course, we've got uh, her, Kamala, Senator Harris's um, moon in Aries, Aries, the fire, the fire, first of all, the cardinal fire signs, the people that drive things forward. Um, so let's have a look at um, what are the, what's the energy behind Joe Biden, the U.S. Uh, presidential Democratic Party presidential candidate, and uh, what's the energy behind his vice president choice, uh, candidate choice in uh, Senator Kamala Harris? What is the energy, please, behind Senator Harris's uh, now moving to be the vice president presidential candidate? All right, let's have a look here. So we've got Instinct Turtle. Now, um, as, a, as I said, in all of my readings, and they were difficult readings to do on the vice president cause, candidate because everybody had a favourite. Everybody wanted to see their favourite favorite get up and take, the, take on the role. However, uh, my initial reading showed that she uh, she would be, but I kept coming back to it to read on uh, more and more candidates as requested. She never uh, she was never out of the race, so I feel that this is an instinct instinctive pick for Joe Biden to make on a lot of levels. One of the overriding levels is her focus on justice her career as a prosecutor, as an attorney general uh, in California. Um, this is, you know, there is so much. I feel that they know. Now, Biden, as uh, former vice president, may still be getting uh, briefings. I'm not sure. But certainly uh, he would be aware. Uh, I feel that the damage that Trump and Pence have done will not, the full damage will not be known until a new administration takes over, but I feel that there are those that uh, that understand only too well. It's a huge job that needs to be done. It's a restorative justice jo a job that needs to be done, uh, and it, it'll be instinctive for them as well. 
uh, I feel. Um, so instinctive work uh, an instinctive choice, I feel. At the end of the day, he might have just gone with his instincts. Be joyful. Okay. I feel that um, this is a real message to the naysayers. Uh, this is the real message to those that bring forward negativity against this choice. It is the choice, no matter who. Uh, this this is Biden's choice, and it's time to get behind and start to celebrate. If you want to manifest celebrations post November the third, that's the kind of energy, this inspirational energy you need to take to this fight. Strength, coral, the strength card, using uh, throwing everything at it. Um, is this uh, can, is this partnership going to fall, by the way? Is something going to come out about uh, Senator Harris prior? Nothing much will. They will try. They will make much of um, the uh, argy-bargy between Biden and uh, Senator Harris on the campaign trail. Um, Biden's already forgiven her um, and uh, they've already mended their fences. This is a really a partnership that Trump and Pence aren't going to be able to fling mud at. I do feel that Senator Harris will play a huge role in the campaign around uh, rebuffing, rebuffing, that's not the rebuttal. <laughs> um, every time uh, Trump, Barr, etc. come at Biden in some way, uh, Senator Harris will be there uh, almost, uh, as I said, rebutting uh kicking something back, deflecting something, putting the focus on where it should be, uh, on holding this administration accountable. Gender roles at the base of the pack. How interesting. How interesting. Gender roles. We will see. This partnership is going to be interesting in that it will be uh, liberating. Uh, of course, Senator Harris is the first uh, African-American South Asian, I think she was described as well, um, vice president candidate. Um, and if she becomes vice president, she will be, this will be a first. But I do feel you're going to see it will be a really interesting interplay uh, between the two and to see uh, this, I guess, norms being broken as well. Um, so... Yeah, look, I'm feeling I'm feeling into it and I'm feeling that it was actually a really, really good choice. So we have um, the giant clam here. We have harmony. So we have gender roles in the energy. We have harmony, so, which is telling me that the, the two will work harmoniously together. We have instinct. It was an instinctive choice on Biden's part. Naysayers. This is a done deal now. She's the vice presidential candidate. Get on board. Get on board and start manifesting that celebration uh, that will be yours post November the 3rd. Uh, and strength. This was a strong choice. I think Barack Obama, uh, the former uh, president, uh, actually said Biden nailed it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if he had some input. input. I'm, in fact, I'm sure he had input. So what a what a momentous thing here I feel for um for uh Senator Harris to be chosen, not just because she's a woman, but because she's African American and South South Asian as well. This is this is huge. This is a huge choice and I feel very positive about it. All right, so let's uh let's move to the tarot and let's take a look. Is this a winning is this a winning partnership? Let me see if I can It's a very determined partnership. Um very determined and also Harris um Harris is a good communicator as well. Uh, she knows exactly what to say and when to say it. Now, she uh, is not afraid of taking those shots that need to be taken, that a prosecutor might take to win a case. She's not. She won't be uh, holding back with that. 
Uh, and it's needed. It's absolutely needed because um, that ca the campaign is already dirty. We know that's the way that Trump and the Republicans fight. So there's strength. She brings real strength to the partnership. All right. Is this a winning? Is this a winning partnership? Is this a winning partnership? It's a healing partnership because I'm getting that six of swords. This is moving out of troubled waters, which tells me it's movement forward. It's not movement backwards. Um, is this uh, between Senator Harris and Joe Biden a winning partnership? All right, let's take a look. So we have the King of Pentacles here as the signifier card. And we have the Two of Cups. So what is challenging Trump is the partnership between Biden and, and Senator Harris. So if when the louder, <clears throat> of course, you know, empty vessels make the most sound, don't they? But the louder he barks, the more you can uh you the more you can be sure that this is a partnership that challenges, that really does challenge Donald Trump. And he should be he should be afraid because look at what this king has, all this money at his feet. Uh, and we see Pan in the background. Um, she may, as I said, she will take a, a focus on bringing people to justice, on ensuring that justice is done. So I feel that Trump is actually um, is actually worried about this choice. So we have the two of wands. So um, this is the foundation of the reading. This is asking for your patience. Um, it's uh, it's it's a project or a plan that comes off in time, because everybody wants to be um, assured that the election is in the bag for uh, for Joe Biden and now Senator Harris. Um, but we do have to be patient. There is a way to go. Um, with this two of wands, there's a campaign to be gotten through, and then and the and the toughest of months are ahead. Um, in the past, we have the ten of uh, the ten of wands. So this generally is how difficult. I don't want to sugarcoat anything today. Uh, this is it is cause for celebration, and it is cause for um, to get your put your inspirational hat on. But this is where the world is at the moment. This is in the past. Uh, so this is showing we are concluding a cycle or we will uh, be concluding a cycle. We're on the tail end of it at the moment. And it's tough. It's tough with the pandemic, with the recession, even with a Biden-Harris um, win come January in uh, when the, inaugura the inauguration, there's a, there's a lot of damage a lot of work that needs to be done, and I think everyone knows that. Let's see what's in the sky. <clears throat> Beautiful. It's like an emotional reset. And th by the way, this is a yes card crowning this reading, and it is the most perfect card, the most perfect card. I'm being drawn to the two flowers. Ha-ha. <laughs> the two flowers atop the cup. We do have a looks like a dolphin or a, or a or fish of some sort. Biden, of course, being water, all this water energy. Uh, but we also have the moon uh, in in between at the sun. Now remember, Senator Harris's moon in Aries is opposite her sun in Libra, and we have these two beautiful flowers here. This is the start. This is an emotional reset. This is the start of something new. Now let me pull the laptop down and. Because I have um, <laughs> been through a, a flood event uh, this week, in the last few days, I'm going to take a sip. I'm going to take a sip of my thyme and honey tea. I'm reminded also, even though this is a political reading, to um, really emphasise emphasize self-care. Self-care, and that starts with... Um, I guess acknowledging, expressing, understanding emotions. Okay, this is a healing energy I feel here uh, with this partnership of the King of Cups. How beautiful. This is my card for Biden in the immediate future. I asked, is it a winning partnership? I get confirmation here. Let's see what's happening in the here and now. Something is being actualized into reality. 
The magician, of course, is uh, has everything at his or her disposal. Uh, this is manifesting energy. This is where we're sitting now. So, again, for the naysayers, it's not the time. The time is to manifest what you want in the future, and that is defeating Donald Trump. Now, what is the energy around this? Now, of course, this operates on two levels. We are in manifestation energy. But the challenge or the atmosphere or the environment around is the Seven of Swords. This is somebody that steals into the camp in the dead of night and takes the armory and leaves the uh, camp undefended. It is the card for deception, lies and deceit. This is also the card in its more negative uh, iteration of the Dirty Trickster. So what we see in the here and now is the uh, the way that the campaign is going to be run from uh, Trump's side because he really is fighting now against a movement that he doesn't understand. Um, well, perhaps he does understand it. You know, he appeals to fear, which of course is a one side of an emotional coin, fear, and on the other side is strength and courage. What we see here is the strength and the courage side of the coin moving forward with this partnership. The hopes and the fears, this is the downfall of the king. This is uh, aligning with the king of pentacles here. This is what is hoped for, that there will be, again, the 10 energy, the defeat of Donald Trump. All right, let's have a look at the outcome card. Yeah. The Page of Wands, uh, is this a good uh, partnership? It is the start of something new. It is the start of inspiration. And again, we need to be patient uh, while this partnership develops. Uh, we have the Three of Cups, this celebration energy here. Uh, I think by and large, people will welcome her. By and large, it is reinvigorating Biden's campaign. And we have the Page of Cups. This is a, a lot of water energy here. This could even be uh, some sort of apology, um, uh, communication and apology. She, uh, I don't know how, why Biden, well, I do, it was instinctive. But um, this is showing me that their relationship is on a strong ground. Uh, and I think this is what the Republicans are going to try and needle away at this um what happened on the campaign when uh Harris Senator Harris referred to Joe Biden's past in relation to segregation so there's going to be a lot made of that but the uh pact between the two is strong and will weather the weather the storm um at the base of the pact there is so much grief and um, sadness and sorrow at what is going on in the US at the moment. Um, it is this tower moment as a result of um, as a result of coronavirus. It is illuminating what is weak and what needs to be changed. Structures are being broken down, and we are in the process of resetting starting something again so i'm going to draw a clarification on my page of um the page of uh wands this inspirational card pages come forward at the start of a journey they bring um they bring inspiration and passion with them um i feel that by and large as i said the choice is welcomed and it's strong and people will get behind it. So show me, um, show me this page. Show me, it is a uh, winning combination. Is this a winning combination with this page of wands? Sorry, show me this page of wands, please. Page of wands. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's all about a movement. It's all about a movement that grows with that Knight of Wands uh, because America is at the crossroads. Um, and there's going to be movement um, 
this talks about headlines, things coming forward, very quick energy. Um, it's all like, almost like there's a mobilisation. Whatever the GOP and Trump do during the campaign, there's a mobilisation by the voter. Oh, wow. Okay. So <clears throat> what my tarot card is telling me is that this is where we are at the moment. So the potential, what's crowning this reading, is new a reset, new starts. Um, and it is this water energy that is flowing through everything at the moment. But we have the page of uh, page of wands, which is uh, again the start of a journey. Bringing uh, this person has a staff, interestingly, which is something else that I saw at the beginning of this reading. A staff, a staff of inspiration, a staff of passion. It is only going to grow as people get behind the choice, because I feel. Uh, there are heavy burdens here with this two of swords. But as the campaign goes on and Trump and the GOP try and uh, chuck as much muck at them, this momentum grows and culminates with an absolute really high turnout of voter in, because this is my card for the, the voter, um, the Ten of Cups families in the suburbs, a high turnout. I asked, is this a winning uh, a winning partnership? She is bringing a stronger a stronger turnout in the polls in November. Now that could be um, around the younger the younger generation. At the base of the pack, we have the Sword of the Sword of Truth and Justice. Sword of Truth and Justice. And we do have the sun, illumination, and, of course, the strength card. The strength card, again, which showed up at the beginning of this reading, and victory for the king of swords, which can be either a um, male or female energy. Uh, let's not get stuck with gender. Remember that card came up as well. This is the attorney. This is the uh, lawyer. This is the investigator. That's really, at the end of the day, what will be <clears throat> so gratifying to see is the investigations that will take place post-election. Post There's a lot of restorative work for Biden and Harris to do. <coughs> okay. All right. So let's have a look at our second question. How will she contribute to a new administration? Astrologically, she's got some important placements in 2023, but I'll leave that for another reading because I want to take a more detailed look at their charts. Um, Biden shows that there is this standing wet at his age and stage, bringing people together, being able to get the disenchanted Republicans to vote for him. Um, that's why he, he is where he is at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but he may only be a one-term president. So uh, his vice president will play a strong role uh, in the next election, um, 2024. So let's have a look at how she will contribute to the administration. Intuitively, I feel that she will be focusing on justice. How will Senator Harris, Kamala, Kamala Harris, how will she contribute, work, define, bring forward a new administration? How will she contribute to the new administration star hope a lot of people will see hope in her now you know she has her critics but I do remember when I pulled this card I'm seeing her dancing with young people she will give people hope across the board um, she's bringing balance she's challenged by um, restriction or people's hope is has been restricted up until now and if you if you recall what the obama presidency originally brought forward was that hope in fact i started watching the netflix series uh on michelle obama 
and I just felt quite uh, a little bit nostalgic for um, a time when those high values were so much on show. Uh, but over the last three, three and a half years, and by the time we get to the new administration, hope has been severely dented. Hope has been severely restricted. So she's going to lift some of that fear. Because she is a strong choice, because she is, um, again, you know, maybe those people who felt Biden lacked at his age and stage energy, although I disagree with that, um, he does better than what I do and I'm a lot younger than him. Um, we, we've got this restriction uh, and it is eliminating worry and anxiety. The two of pentacles. Um, again, not, not to sugarcoat where the world will be uh, next year, uh, but this is, this is keeping the balls in the air juggling. It is uh, the juggler that does this um, while... Uh, he or she waits for things to improve. So, again, this focus, this surety and strength around the economy. Um, these two, again, she contributes to strengthening Biden's um, Biden's presidency, uh, including economically. It could be the share market might re might react favorably to this choice. Um, it, at the end, at the in the past, we've got the world card endings and beginnings. We it showed in that last reading that we are at the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And look at this strength. This is the third time. This is crowning the reading. This is the third time that this has shown up in her in relation to Senator Harris. Look at this fire energy here. She has the wand. She doesn't have a sword. She has a wand, which is inspiration, passion, driving forward with strength. This is the fire, the moon in Aries that I was referring to, the moon in Aries, working on the shadow side, bringing back. She is going to be, this is her thing to rise to, her purpose to rise to, bringing back that balance around justice. Okay, um, and she will be held to it by that Saturn in Aquarius placement in her chart. The immediate future, we have the hangman forcing, uh, this is again, forcing uh, us to look at something in a different way. So this could be her challenge when everything is stalled or suspended. Um, she comes forward with strength. She, um, this is suspension negating something. Let's leave that there and see where we go to. This could also be she's a woman and uh, and she's going to fight that harder, that bit harder than what a male, uh, a male VP might have had to fight. Um, she's breaking new ground here breaking new ground but people will have to get used to that they will have to look at the night and day here and again I go back to moon in Aries opposite her son in Libra look at that night and day night and day illuminating something bringing it forward into the light of day she is someone that has always uh, shattered glass ceilings wherever she's gone. She'll continue to do that with this five VP placement. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in the here and now. This is freedom. Again, there's a, an element here in relation to the economy uh, and in, in relation to people not having enough to meet their needs. Um, so, she, again, you'll see her policies and programs come forward. Um Reducing barriers, she'll work within her own community and she'll work hard on that. She will uh, work strongly, I feel, with the Congress in order to bring forward these programs and policies. The hopes and the fears, this is around, um, this is around the wealth, wealth generation and not just amongst the top 1%. This is wealth generation um, you know, generally amongst people, the economy is going to be in trouble.
by the time she takes power, she and Biden take power, and uh, there's going to be a need for um, financial aid and help to people, to families. Page of Swords, yeah, this is her wielding a big sword. The Page of Swords. Um, there will be an emphasis, on, as I said, on justice and truth. Um, the Five of Swords on, uh, again, looking back and <clears throat> cleaning up the mess because this is the abuse of power, cleaning up Trump, the mess that Trump will have left. Now, the Page of Swords is also um, a light, you know, somebody that comes forward uh, and it's a light bulb moment. Uh, we've got the fire here in the background and this person is dancing around with their swords. Um, this is the bully card as well. She's going to take on with that big sword. She's going to take that those people on. And we have the devil cleaning up the mess here. Underneath the pack, we have this balance coming back. We do have the ace of cups here, an emotional reset. And we do have this fire energy in the Queen of Wands. She's sitting there on a throne with her staff of inspiration. Now, <clears throat> she's going to have a lot thrown at her. I'm going to get a clarity on this Five of Swords, this abuse of power, along with the Devil card. Let me just go back to my smaller, smaller cards uh, and we'll see what the challenges are for her. What is this Five of Swords? How, how is she going to contribute? Is this cleaning up the Strength card, crowning the reading, the Page of Swords, somebody who's wielding a very big sword there? Um, show me this Five of Swords. Is, she, is this in relation to her cleaning up the mess? Cleaning up the mess, the Five of Swords. Is this in relation to that? She's not going to be liked by the big... The big companies, I don't think. Show me the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, abuse of power. Show me this Five of Swords. <clears throat> okay, yeah, this is retreat. Retreat of the um, abuse. This is retreat of Trump, basically. That Four of Swords. Uh, and we've got the anxiety, high anxiety levels there that are operating at the moment. This is Trump's foreign dealings. This is also the spy in the camp. This is where she's going to uh, she's going to make big announcements in relation to what he was doing with Deutsche Bank. She's going to take a role in the in the now she won't be prosecuting Trump, but look, she's going to play a role in some way in bringing him to justice. We've got the Hope card. This is her role, the Queen of Wands. She is the Queen of Wands, and we've got. Uh, endings and beginnings, a new beginning. Oh my goodness. So this is pretty huge. This is a pretty huge restorative cleanup role that she will be playing, which is what I intuitively felt in her natal chart and in the the first readings that I that I did. All right, that's uh, pretty exhausting um, now. Uh, I'm still getting over um, my, my flooding event, although it didn't come into the house. It did. Uh, we had to work hard in those uh, hours and frantically in those hours before, uh, before the flood peaked. So um, I'm going to go and rest now. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Intuitively, I feel he's made the right choice. All right, thank you.